There's nothing more important than the health and safety of our entire San Antonio ISD family. San Antonio ISD is ready to welcome everyone back for the 2020-2021 school year. We've been working through the summer to prepare for the start of school. We've brought together experts to help us redesign our school environments with your safety in mind. If you're planning to return to campus this fall, you'll notice things look different. From sanitizer stations, to modified classroom layouts, to strategically placed protective barriers, we're doing everything in our power to protect our students and staff from COVID-19. SAISD has been working to secure an inventory of personal protective equipment, including face masks and face shields for use by staff and students. Face coverings will be required for all before entering any district campus or building. Younger students in pre-K through second grade will have an option to wear a face shield, which are provided in their classrooms. Daily health checks will be conducted upon student arrival to include temperature screening and symptom checking. Students are also required to wear a face covering when they board the bus. Each student will swipe their bus pass when entering, so we know everyone who was on the bus that day. This will help with any contact tracing should a child later test positive. Children will be seated in every other seat, unless they are from the same family, in which case they can sit together. Seats reserved for social distancing will be wrapped in red with safety signage. Seats and handrails will be sprayed with an EPA-approved disinfectant after each group of students depart. If weather permits, every other bus window may be partially open. Social distancing will be practiced in occupied spaces of the building with at least six feet of separation wherever possible. Markers in key areas will help ensure social distancing is practiced. Classroom layouts have been modified, seating is spaced six feet apart, and plexiglass dividers are used if those distances can't be achieved. Hand sanitizer stations are being installed in all classrooms as well as other common areas in the building. Teachers in classrooms that have rotating cohorts will be provided ready-to-use peroxide-based cleaning solution that can be sprayed on surfaces and wiped off. Both horizontal and vertical high-touch surfaces and learning areas will be cleaned daily using an EPA-approved cleaning and disinfectant solution. The entire campus will be electrostatically disinfected a minimum of once per week. High-touch surfaces in common areas such as hallways and bathrooms will be cleaned and disinfected several times daily using the EPA-approved solution. At night, the custodians will spray down the surfaces, waiting 10 minutes for it to set before wiping it down with a damp cloth. Additionally, the district is upgrading air filters in all buildings. These filters are suitable for filtering sneeze nuclei, pollen, and mold spores. Students will be given frequent hand washing opportunities throughout the day. Each campus has been audited to ensure all restrooms have operational and stock soap dispensers. Restrooms will be checked multiple times daily. Students and staff may also scan a QR code located in each restroom if immediate attention is needed in a restroom. During mealtime, students will be given packaged meals in closed containers that they can eat either in the classroom or in the cafeteria. Social distancing measures will be followed in the cafeteria at all times. For students choosing remote learning, curbside meals will be available at campuses and at various bus stop locations. Plexiglass dividers have also been installed in high traffic areas where six feet social distancing may be challenging, such as the reception area. We've taken extensive measures to ensure the safety of students and staff. We will continue to work closely with the Metropolitan Health Department for guidance as we monitor this environment. And we will continue to make decisions with your best interest and our students in mind. More details on safety protocols and the start of school can be found at www.saisd.net slash school start. Thank you.